Hello students, in this video of ours, we are going to learn about the transgenic animals. What are transgenic animals and wh why do we want them? What are they doing for us? And what is their application in the field of biotechnology? The transgenic animals, transgenic animals are the animals which have their DNA manipulated means which have their DNA changed. Related means changed. So the animals which where we have changed the DNA and we have altered their DNA to possess or express an extra gene. We have incorporated in incorporated in their genome a gene which is of our interest and we want to see that how this gene is expressing and uh, how this gene can make the changes. So they are called the transgenic animals. So transgenic animals are the animals where we have manipulated the DNA so that their original DNA is now possessing an extra gene. Their original DNA uh, is now expressing because of the extra gene they are expressing extra protein and this expression we want to study so till date transgenic rats are there rabbits are there pigs are there sheep cows and fish so we have produce because whatever human being is doing is doing for his welfare so we have made these transgenic animals for experimentation. We have made these transgenic animals to uh, test for different medicines, for different biological products, for different uh, vaccines, so that we can use them for our welfare. But till today, the majority of the transgenic animals are mice only rats only and uh, why this is so is because uh, it's a small organism and mammal and uh, there are various similarities so if we are testing on rats whatever has been is coming in the market in the medical uh, medicinal um, field in the medical field for the welfare of the human uh, welfare it has to be tested but we can each and every time we cannot test them on human beings. So first of all, in the first trial, these things which when they are produced, they are tested on uh, rats, that is the mice. And once we are satisfied with the result on mice, then we might take the second trial on monkeys. And once we are satisfied the trial on the monkeys, and then the human trial is done. So human trial is not the first phase whenever any medicine is introduced or whenever any biological product is introduced or whenever any thing which is being produced by the biotechnologic method, it cannot be directly come into the market. It has to undergo the various trials. And first of all, we want these trials on the transgenic animals. And 95, more than 95% of the animal, transgenic animals are mice, rats, because uh, they are also mammals. And if the results are good and satisfied on them, then we can be assured that, yes, they are. this product is going to help the human beings as well. Now, what is the reason for producing transgenic animals? The, we will study about the different fields where we are uh, using and why we are producing these transgenic animals. So why we are producing these transgenic animals? We are producing them to help us in various fields. Now, what are these fields? Study of normal physiology. Now, these transgenic animals serve as models to study genetics, uh, regulation, and down regulation of genes, and their corresponding effects on physiology. Suppose we want to see the uh, effect of any zine on the physiology. It can be any effect on the physiology of the human being. So 
we cannot just put that gene inside the human being straight away first of all we will have the transgenic animals and in transgenic animal also as i told you most of the cases it's rats so we will put that uh, gene of our interest into the rat and we will see its effect on the physiology and when we are satisfied then it can be go on uh, future trials and ultimately it will go to the human trial so they gave information about the biological role of a particular factor in the body um, physiology for example suppose we have taken insulin now insulin insulin what is the effect of insulin on the body whether this insulin which we have the gene which we have incorporated into the genome of the mice or genome of these transgenic animals whether that is producing any side effects or whether that is sufficient to regulate the blood sugar levels so we can we can study about the various effects on physiology by using these transgenic animals so we whatever gene we want to introduce in human being for any benefit for any welfare in the process of the uh, physiological changes we need transgenic animals first then the second field where we need the uh, why we are producing the transgenic animals are to study about the diseases so they are acting as a models to study the genetic basis of diseases suppose we have come to know about any disease and we know that this disease is because of uh, this gene or this disease can be cured because of this gene so what we will do we can um, incorporate that gene of interest into the genome of the transgenic animal and then we will see the effect for how this disease in, is being caused and how the gene of interest is able to treat that disease or is able to uh, rectify the faults which are there in the uh, body of the um, uh, organism because of that disease so all these studies can be done to find out the possible treatments of that particular disease so these transgenic models they exist in various human diseases uh, we have we are studying uh, various diseases on the transgenic animals first and then we are uh, introducing that particular treatment for the human beings so what are the diseases in which we are having these transgenic models uh, cancer cystic fibrosis rheumatoid arthritis alzheimer's disease and various other diseases are also there for which the transgenic models are first created and we will check the research uh, the treatment of that particular disease in them and then we can uh, progress with our research for the human trials then the third field where these transgenic animals are being produced is for the biological products now treatment of disease often required certain products that are expensive to make uh, suppose we want any biological product uh, for any uh, treatment of the disease for making any tablet or for making any injection now this biological product we can make that if we know that which gene is coding for that particular product so what we will do is we'll make the transgenic animals and we will introduce that gene which is coding for that particular product and then we can see what is the effect of that biological product so we can have that biological product in uh, we can uh, have it in a, um, a large quantity for the commercial production as well so example is human protein now this human protein is alpha 1 anti trypsin now this alpha 1 anti trypsin is been found to treat emphysema emphysema is a disease which is there in the human body and that can be treated with this protein alpha 1 anti trypsin so this alpha 1 anti trypsin the gene for that has been isolated and then it has been incorporated into the transgenic animals and then the production can be made in 
first transgenic cow was made and this cow the name was this cow was kept rosy and this cow um because of the manipulation of the dna manipulation of the gene in that cow this cow is able to produce the protein enriched milk and this milk the milk of this cow it contained a, a lacta albumin and it was very nutritious and it was more suitable for human babies so this rosy cow um is been is a transgenic cow which has been uh, where the uh, man in the gene has been manipulated to produce the milk which is rich in one protein so that means the gene which is responsible for production of this protein was uh, added to the genome of the cow and this gene was producing uh lacta lact albumin now this is the protein which was not found in the cow's milk but this protein can was uh, can be uh, this protein was found when the cow was made transgenic by manipulating the gene and this was nutritionally more suitable this milk now is more suitable for human babies so this is how the transgenic animals are uh, helping us in production of biological products which are helping us in the field of uh, medicine and in other fields now vaccine safety test now you must have heard these days corona vaccine is coming corona it is under the trial that means what the trials human trials is the last stage first of all whenever any vaccine is developed it is tried it is always tried on the transgenic um, animals and most of the cases most of the cases transgenic mice so transgenic mice are used to test vaccines for their safety before they are used for human so we will give that vaccine to the mice and we will see its effect whether there is any side effect whether that vaccine is effective against that disease or not so everything we can do on that transgenic animal suppose we have given that vaccine and after that vaccine we will expose that mice to the causative organism so that we can see that whether the mice is now having that disease or not if he the mice is not having the disease that means this vaccine is working so to test for all these test the transgenic animals are required like uh, the example is transgenic mice are used to check polio vaccine any kind of vaccine whenever any vaccine is developed it has to be first checked it has to be first uh, see the safety safety checks have to be done on uh, transgenic animals and in most of the cases these are transgenic mice and in these mice we will see whether the vaccine is effective number 1 number 2 whether it is safe for the uh, organism first we will see whether it is safe for the mice itself if it is not safe the, for the mice then it cannot be safe for human beings so if whether it is safe or not whether there are any whether or there are any side effects after taking this vaccine so all these things can be done on transgenic animals so we need transgenic animals we have to produce transgenic animals before uh, launching any commercial product for human welfare similarly chemical safety testing now chemical safety test uh, safety testing means uh, transgenic animals contain genes that make them more sensitive to toxic substances now suppose um there is uh, some products which are toxic in nature but you will not come to know about them because uh, maybe the tolerance level of all organism is different so maybe it is toxic but for a longer and longer period of time the human being are taking them because we don't know whether the uh, the substance is toxic or not so what they are doing is they are making the transgenic animals more sensitive to toxic substance that means normally the animals are not were that sensitive so you cannot find about the toxicity of any chemicals 
to find out the toxicity of any chemical the transgenic animals are made toxic sensitive by uh, incorporating the zine which is responsible for being sensitive to toxic substance so non transgenic are not that sensitive but normal normal uh, mice is not sensitive not that sensitive to toxic but when we have made that mice a transgenic mice then in, in that mice is more sensitive to toxic substance so now we can test for toxicity so we can introduce any chemicals we can introduce any medicines and we will check the toxicity testing so toxicity testing in such animals help us to obtain results in less time so we will come to know that uh, whether this medicine which we have produced or whether this medicine which is available in the market and human beings are using it whether it is toxic whether it can be of any harm to the human being so all these testing can be done on transgenic animals only we cannot test on human beings anything which is there in the market anything which is been produced as a uh, as an application of the biotechnological processes that cannot be straight away used because the the results are very uncertain we don't know because what we are doing we are manipulating the genes so we cannot predict the results in human beings so before using them for the human beings we have to first test everything on something and for that we need transgenic animals and these transgenic animals they are helping us to know to study about the toxicity of the chemicals about the biological products what are what are they um, their effects they can about the safety of the vaccine about the physio any effect on uh, of anything on the physiological issues so we can find out all these things by testing on transgenic animals so this is how this is why we have to produce transgenic animals and these transgenic animals are helping us in various uh, testing issues now what are the ethical issues ethical issues there are ethical issues because what we are doing is we are changing the genes so we are actually uh, playing with the nature we are um disturbing the nature because uh, we are changing the genes if a person is having one set of gene we are changing the genes so when we are changing the genes when we are changing we can change the genetic makeup of the vegetable we can change the genetic makeup of the plant products for uh, that matter different organisms so when we are doing that when we are uh, producing the transgenic animals then there are certain ethical issues we cannot just take any animal and make it a transgenic animal and use it for various uh, testing purposes for the human welfare so indian government has set up an organization and this organization is geac that is genetic engineering approval committee now this geac is the committee which makes the decision regarding validity of the genetically modified research and its use for public utility it's not that anybody or everybody can uh, take the animals and make them no it's not they this is the committee which will give the approval that yes whether uh, the this uh, genetically modified research can go on or not for the public utility so this is the organization which is controlling then modification which may result in the loss of biological significance of animals cannot go beyond regulation for example suppose you have modified any animal and this uh, animal because of the modification of the gene this animal has lost the biological significance that means this animal has lost the 
significant functioning of the for any life processes or this animal has lost something which is uh, very much essential for its survival so then this if any loss is there for the biological significance of animals that cannot go beyond regulation so that cannot be allowed so that's why if this 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 modification is resulting in any loss of the biological significance then it cannot go beyond regulation that's why there should be some authority there should be some organization which can control all these things then unpredictable results may be observed because we don't know we don't know what would be the result that it's all unpredictable we have changed the genes so the results can be in our benefit or results can be the uh, damaging results can be there the negative results can be there so it's all unpredictable and if these organisms are introduced in natural ecosystems then if in directly if you are using uh, these uh, this you are doing the modification genetic modification and they are introducing these organisms in the natural ecosystem then it would be very difficult because maybe the results are not what we wanted so first of all it has to be checked it has to be regulated then patents for transgenic variety also create problems now what is patent patent is the right that uh, i have produced this and nobody else can use it okay you have to ask for permission from that company who has the patent for that so pat there are many transgenic varieties for which the patents have been taken and uh, they also create as many indigenous varieties are claimed by multinational companies as their own inventions for example uh, suppose in a village indian village one thing is produced and the local people they know about it and local local people they have they done the experiments and they have cross bred certain varieties and they have produced a useful variety now if that variety is patented by any multinational company so what would be there there would be loss for that village there would be loss for this resource of that uh, village for that village people for example uh, one very good example is there that a new variety of basmati basmati as you know is a um, indian this thing because uh, indian farmers have produced a lot of varieties of basmati rice and this basmati rice is famous for its flavor and taste so a new variety of basmati was claimed by an american company though through patenting now this new variety was actually derived by indian farmers by crossing indian basmati with semi dwarf variety Now what happens? The Indian farmers have produced Indian farmers by cross breeding the uh, basmati and the semi dwarf varieties. They have produced this, but the patent, the patent was claimed by an in American company. So now those farmers have got no right on that, and the, the selling right. for putting that rice in the market is the only is the sole right of that company who has got the patent similarly neem and tamak the neem and tamarik is also in ample quantities in india but these days the cosmetic products they the medicinal things which are being formed by neem which are being formed by turmeric many ayurvedic medicines are there with where we are using these things since long because our ancestors used to have these ayurvedic medicines where they used neem they used tulsi they used turmeric but now what is happening they uh, which we are using for ages uh, is also a matter of dispute for patent right because patent right we 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 have not we don't have the patent right but traditionally for long period we are making them and we are using them 
but the patent has been taken by the some other multinational company so that has to be stopped now bio piracy what is piracy piracy you know you have taken bought a new cd original cd of any movie and uh, you have given that to 10 of your friends and those 10 of your friends have copied it so everybody has seen that movie or you take the camera to the um, cinema hall and you take the recording and you are having that uh, recording and you can use that um, you can give the anybody to the in the um, pen drive and you say that okay so everybody is got got the movie that is piracy now here this is bio piracy piracy is he uh, stealing anything stealing anything not legally it is illegally it's it's not legal the stealing which is not legal is uh, piracy you are using and bio piracy is when we are using bio resources from bio resources means the resources from the organism the living or resources from the organism we are using that by the multinational companies use of bio resources by multinational companies and other organization without proper authorization from countries and people concerned without compensatory payment means the those people the local people the village people who actually have produced them they are not getting sufficient compensation they are not getting uh, sufficient uh, payment for that and these multinational com uh, companies they are using those uh, bio resources so industrialized and developed nations are economically rich now the developed nation they are economically very rich financially they are very rich but their biodiversity is poor they are not having the uh, bio resources the diversity is not there and at the same time opposite is with the developing nation developing nations have the biodiversity but they do not have the uh, financial power they are not economically that sound as developed countries are so therefore developed countries exploit the traditional knowledge and resource of poor countries for commercialization what they are doing is because of their money power because of their financial power they are exploiting the traditional knowledge and the resources available with the developing countries and they are taking the patents and having the rights so this is a matter of injustice since inadequate compensation and benefit sharing is given to the poor countries in return what they are doing is they are uh, pat patenting that uh, product which is a great injustice because the compensation is not been given to the uh, in people who actually are producing that and the uh, they do not share the benefit also for the products so it is exploitation and therefore it should be stopped so therefore steps should be taken by developing countries to prevent this exploitation and for that the indian parliament has recently introduced second amendment of indian patents bill there is a indian patent bill which is dealing with these issues so with this patent bill we are not allowing to uh, we are not allowing any developed country to take the patent of the local bio resources which are so this is all